Yeah, so I'm sitting here after recording the video uh, that you guys are about to watch. Uh, still going to use my new microphone. Um, and yes, I did literally just now open it. I haven't even stopped the recording yet. So like, he here's here's the empty box. Just recorded the whole thing. I was uh, filming the outro for it and realized that I had my mic muted this entire time. This is the second video I've done with this uh, Ogato Wave 3. Still not quite used to it. Apparently I had it muted the whole time. So uh, the audio is going to sound bad to you guys because you're going to be hearing the audio coming from the camera itself. At least there's that. I'll do what I can to make it sound better to cut out the background noise and all the other stuff. But apparently even investing in a new microphone does not save me from my own stupidity and making my videos sound awful. Sup losers. Yeah, so uh, I did say that this, oh, I might put in the thumbnail title, this is new. It is new. I actually ordered this the day it released on the Pokemon Center. But I have a bit of a backlog going, so you all probably won't see the video for a while, and you might have already seen this box, like, in store from another YouTuber by the time I actually release it. But, uh, as for me, this is, like, day one. It just arrived, ordered the day it released, so I should be receiving it at the same time as most other people, at least. You might notice that there, uh, looks like it's been torn open, right? So you might think it, you know, it was, like, you know, bought from eBay or something like that and, like, torn up. Uh, like, somebody, like, got in there and weighed the packs and crap. Uh, I was kind of concerned, but then I remembered, oh yeah, I ordered this straight from the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna have to, like, blur out my address on here. But yeah, uh, th this and this little pack, which I literally just bought so I can get free shipping, did come straight from them. So, we're gonna open this boy up. I guess we'll open from the side that looks like it was partially opened. Okay, never mind. That is some strong glue. Look at that. So it looks like the glue just didn't actually stick down properly to the box. Like it's hardened on both sides, but it looks like they didn't actually glue it down properly right there because it is glued down properly right here. Like I can't separate that. They used some thick glue this time around. So there's our beautiful little display and I guess we'll see what kind of packs come in this thing. But yeah, the individual pack I did buy is Guardians Rising. I only picked that one because I didn't really have any promo cards that I liked on those little blisters. Uh, but I liked the Metagross coin that comes in it, so I just did that one. And it's Guardians Rising, could have some good stuff in there. So of course, for the promo, we have our non-focused Alakazam V. Which I don't think I've seen Alakazam on like a good looking card in a while. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe it's just like a rare pull that I haven't gotten. But that looks really nice. I'm really happy to add this little V to my collection. And I forgot to grab my sleeves. I actually have hard sleeves now, guys. I told you they were taking forever to show up. They finally did after like about a month or so after I ordered them. So cool. All right. I figured these sleeves will probably look the best on this boy because they are a darker purple. So they should be fine. Slip our Alakazam in there. <laughs> And in its hard sleeve. There we go, nice and lined up. I'm so OCD about making sure it completely lines up with the bottom. Uh, but cool, we have our Alakazam V in its little uh, Lunala sleeve. And we get our big jumbo card, which I'm gonna have to move the camera to even get entirely in frame. So there is the jumbo Alakazam V. I don't really care a whole lot for the jumbos. I do keep them somewhat protected. I wanna get something I can actually store these in to keep them safe. They're, they're cool. I like them because you can see a lot of detail. Like, you can see a lot more on these big guys than you can see on the uh, regular size cards. But at the same time, when it's a, a card like this that doesn't have much detail to it, I guess it kind of does, like, down in this little area, then, yeah, I guess it's kind of neat. But I really like the more detailed cards than they do the Jumbos because it lets you see more than you could on the regular card art. And for all the code hunters, I'm just going to give away the whole thing here. Normally I do like a half and half bull crap, but there's the whole code card for the whole box. Congratulations. Now you can click off the video. So we have a Sword and Shield, uh, a Sword and Shield, a Sun and Moon pack, which I didn't expect to see in this. We have a Vivid Voltage, another Vivid Voltage, and a Rebel Clash, really. I haven't done a Rebel Clash in a while. So that's actually not a bad little variety there, all that included with our little Guardians Rising here. So I guess we're going to start off with our Rebel Clash, just because I haven't done one in forever. Uh, I mean, of course, that was the uh, first booster box I ever bought, was for Rebel Clash, and so far still the only booster box, at least as far as Pokemon goes. I did do a Yu-Gi-Oh! one and a few other franchises. There's the code card. One, two, three, and water energy. 
Starting off with other uncommons, we have a Karkul. I, I always pronounce it just Charkul. But is it Karkul? Karkul. Karkul. Uh, Beware and Skyla. Moving on to our Bunnel B, Phantom, our Dreepy Boy, Galarian Farfetch'd, Honed, for our reverse, we have a more Pico, more Peko. And lastly, okay, we got a Dragapult V. I don't think that's terrible. I know I have a, I think, I'm pretty sure I have the Rainbow Secret Rare of the Dragapult V. I don't think I have this version. I know, I know I have the Rainbow. I don't think I have this. So while it's not as cool as the Secret Rare, I mean, it's still a V card that I don't have. The only thing that upsets me is duplicates. Aside from that, give me whatever the hell you want. Although honestly, getting duplicates of Secret Rares, I still wouldn't be upset, so feel free to send me some more of those, Rebel Clash. You know, wouldn't mind getting some extra. Uh, there we go, that's nice and in there. So our Dragapult V is in its sleeve. I also did another Lunala sleeve. It's not quite in there, right? But I did a Lunala sleeve for that as well, just because it's also purple. All right, let's do our Vivid Voltage, which I have done a decent amount of so far. I know I've done at least two Elite Trainer boxes of Vivid Voltage. I also believe I did the Blister Packs, I want to say. You think I'll remember these kind of things, but it, it, it's hard to keep up, man. There's your code card. One, two, three. We have a Fire Energy. And we have a beautiful little Shuckle, a Nuzleaf, and a Memory Capsule going on to our Sandile, Oshawott, Pineco, Clefairy, Tynamo. For our reverse, we have that do like the, the dopey looking Eevee. I just don't care for it. And okay. I mean, it's not a hollow or anything crazy, it's just a rare. But I think it's been forever since I've seen a non-hollow, non-special Charizard. It's just a rare with little uh, Leon there in the background, so it's specifically his Charizard, I'd imagine. That's cool. I definitely don't mind pulling that. Okay. Before we do the other two, let's just go ahead and crack into this here. Again, didn't really care for any of the promos that they had in these little packs, so I just did the one that had a nice coin with it. There's the code card for all the uh, TCGO players. I tried to play it, I just can't get into it, man. Besides, I would just want to give those away anyways. So there is your Metagross coin. That is really reflective. Like, usually, I'm kind of the opposite on these that I am with the cards. The less detail on these looks nicer. Like, it is super reflective, super rainbow. And since there's not that much detail to Metagross, it just looks super clean. Yeah, yeah, it's still just a plastic coin, but that's not bad. Then we have our promo hollow little Tessarina, I believe you're pronounced. Cool, I mean, yeah, you're a hollow or whatever. You're a Pokemon I don't ever think of as a thing that exists. And of course, our Sun and Moon Guardians Rising pack. Uh, so Sun and Moon, they should still have energies in there. Please tell me that this is a pull for the code card. It is, there you go. One, two, three, and it should have an energy. Yes, okay. And we have our Pseudo Wudo, Aeolian Graveler, and Max Potion as our uncommons. Moving on to our Sandlet, our Stuffle, our Slowpoke, Little Bird Boy, Little Fish Boy, who's trying to become a bird. Ooh, Rescue Stretcher. All right, that's a neat little reverse. I, I just got, I went, ooh, because I'm still, I'm still used to Sword and Shield reverses that look like crap. And a uh, whale lord. All right. Well, that was a waste of four bucks, or I think it was four bucks. I don't remember. Two packs to go. Let's get our base set sun and moon out of the way. I don't think I've done base set sun and moon in a while either. I really haven't done much sun and moon lately. Like maybe I should look into doing some more of those. I still I still want to get more about cosmic eclipse. That is probably my favorite set. But Pokemon is getting stupid expensive. I mean, it's been stupid expensive. The scalpers are going insane. I can never find anything in store, so I have to resort to buying from people online. And rarely is it, you know, a retailer I can actually find it on, because most retailers are just sold out. Again, scalpers. So I'm having to buy from the scalpers pretty much, which is great. I love supporting that business practice. There's our reverse Spinda. And lastly, we have a Deuce die. Lame. I mean, he's still, you know, one of my favorite starters. Uh, but he's not a shine. I only like things that are shiny. 
If it does not reflect, I do not want. I, you guys probably expecting to rhyme there. I, 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 I couldn't think of anything. There's our vivid voltage pack as our finale. But no, like I don't, I, I don't think I usually buy from scalpers. I usually buy from people that are actually selling things for a good price. I don't like to overpay for things. Uh, so I'm more than likely just buying from other people who either don't actually do Pokemon or they just came into the possession of some, or. Uh, People who are actually into it and they just don't want whatever they have or whatever else. Maybe trying to make a little bit of profit. But I don't usually buy things that are like way overpriced. That's way over the uh, retail price for the item. Because I uh, I have bills to pay, you know. And our uncommon. We have a Blitzel with that little steel reflection. And please. Okay, a Quagsire. You're probably the worst thing. You were the worst thing I could have pulled. Because I was so excited and I just get like shocked Pikachu face on the Quagsire. Like, dude, come on, that, that, ugh. Alright, you're in a video recap of everything that was reverse or better. Not really in any certain order this time around. We have our reverse more Pico, reverse Eevee, our hollow promo Tessrina, our reverse rescue scre scratcher, our Spinda, and Blitzel. Moving on to our beautiful little Dragapult V. Probably doesn't have much value, but I, I just like Dragapult, so it's a nice thing in my opinion. And of course, our Alakazam V. As a promo, its value won't be that great either, but I think it looks sick. I would definitely take it over the Dragapult V. It is a nice promo, and from what I've seen from doing my price video I did on New Year's, uh, go check that out. Uh, it actually, like, promo cards can get up in value rather surprisingly as time goes on when, you know, you can no longer buy them or at least very hard to find those promos anymore. The prices do start to go up from the collectors who are interested in that specific card more for personal reasons rather than for actually using in-game because now they're actually harder to get your hands on and some people sleep on certain, you know products that have those promos in them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, subscribe down below, check out the main channel, also below. Fuck. So yeah, uh, like I was saying in terrible quality, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe down below, check out the main channel for uh, more funny gameplay, and uh, yeah, sorry about the audio apparently. Time to see if I can clean this up. Uh, bye.